Hello and welcome to Model Kit Stuff and a quick tips video uh, based around um, model jigs. So there is lots and lots of different um, modeling jigs about these days, especially for building uh, aircraft. This is one of them um, and they all have something um, in common or two things in common. One, um, you have to buy them so they cost money and two, they all have various limitations. This one, for example, uh, will only build uh, single aircraft that have a propeller mounted centrally at the front with a model that's designed with a small hole in the front. So, quite limiting. There is a solution and I'm going to show you how to make your own jig that's going to cost you next to nothing and will pretty much accommodate any size of aircraft. And this is it here. So all you need for this building jig is some standard packing foam. This is the sort of stuff that you get around electrical goods. It's quite rubbery. Um, so things like TVs, fridges, that sort of stuff. I think this was round a pram as I remember. Um, so some packing foam and um, this is a bamboo um, kebab stick um, cut into three pieces so two of them so we've got six pieces that's all you need so you start by cutting out a t-shape and that is to allow you to accommodate uh, adjustable wings and adjustable um, length of the aircraft and the tail then you need to cut yourself three blocks rectangular blocks of foam like this as you can see they don't need to be really dead precise. One that's pretty much the width of your long section of the T, and then two that are pretty much the width of your short head of the T. And then all you do is use your kebab sticks to hold them in place. that is your jig made and it will accommodate pretty much any size of aircraft so this is a 148 um, hurricane you'll see this build coming along soon um, and what it does is it does like a lot of the others it allows you to rest your um, aircraft on the jig so you can spray paint the top surfaces you can do your deckling whatever you need to do you can then flip it over and do the underside and it's ultimately adjustable with these to any size you like. Um, so yeah, um, you can see it fits nicely. If you're doing um, a 172 aircraft, you can do the same thing. You just have to move things a little bit closer. Um, and do exactly the same again. Um, and because it's uh, a foam, things don't move around so much. Um, but what you can do, if you wish, if you're a bit worried about it, you can adjust these in and get them to act as like a little clamp to reduce any movement. So there you have it, it's as simple as that, it's an aircraft, uh, model aircraft building jig that costs pretty much nothing, used out of scrap materials, stuff that you would have thrown away, um, and for me it's brilliant and I use it all the time. Um, you'll see it on a lot of my builds, um, I think the last one I used it on was probably my um, 148 scale Warus. Um, but I have had um, 132 scale aircraft in here um, because you just adjust it out. So you can make this to any size of what you want. If you want to make one just for a 172, you can do and make a smaller one. But at this size, it just about works for everything. 
So in terms of size, The length of it is 200 wide, 200 centimetres wide, and the length of it is, and the length of it is about 235, but it's not precise, just needs to get yourself one, a, a 148 scale aircraft and measure it to that and it'll do everything you need pretty much. That's it, that's all there is to it. It's nice and easy, it's quick, it's cheap, and if you damage it, you can chuck it away because that's what you were going to do with the materials anyway, and make yourself another. Save the money that you would have spent on one of these things for a model kit. Okay, take care everyone, thanks for looking in, enjoy your modelling, and I will see you very soon.